Yes. yes. I have got a new project. Uh, Kenny, the CEO of Dark IC, he just contacted me to talk about the project. He basically would like to scale his business, I, I don't know, double or triple size next few years. So he expect to have some change. So basically, he focused from the from the back end first. So I pretty much sure that we, we have to to have something change from both back end and front end in order to make things balanced. Yeah. What do you think? So Dakashi, it's a bubble tea brand, right? Yeah, the bubble tree one yeah, okay. with the star. Yep. And yeah, interesting. Yeah. So they would like to change like uh, the big change. Yeah. Like two or three times. Yeah. The big growth. They yes yes. So they are at, now it's a scaling part. They do not have yet talked about what in detail. So I think we are supposed to call up the Discord yep. meeting yep. in order to make sure how can we, you know, the change in front end and back end need to be matched and to make sure that everything sure. can, yep. can go together. Let's find out the schedule yeah. and then we can schedule for the discovery meeting. In the discovery meeting, we are going to find out details about the what's the problems that we need to overcome. So yeah, schedule the meeting and then uh, we're gonna we're go talking, there. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, my name is Kando and I'm the project lead in this uh, MCN group. And um, yeah, this is my role in the MCN. My name is John and I'm a media specialist. And in for Dakasi, I'm going to take care of the launches, both digital and then the campaigns as well. Hello. Welcome, Kenny. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Please have a seat. Please have a seat. Yeah, uh, in agency life, uh, discovery call is really important and essential uh, because we need to analyze and diagnose what the real problems that client having in their, in their hands. So if we understand more, definitely we can help more. So that discovery call helps us to understand their their requirements and the things. Uh, Kenny, is the agenda today. It's about scale. The thing that we will talk about is two parts. The part that is back end and the part that is front end. The front end is the part that is front end. Okay. Uh, Dakashi is really a client of Tia Cloud. They use our ERP for two or three years. Now, in the year, Dakashi has to be a part of the company. So, the company is going to be a part of the company. So, the company is going to be a part of the company. So, the company is going to be a part of the company. So, the company is going to be a part of the company. So, the company is going to be a part of the company. ก็เลยคิดว่าจะต้องมีการเปลี่ยนแปลงแบ็กเอ็นก็เลยติดต่อเข้ามาที่ทางเทียคลาวทีนี้พอยผมอยากจะเริ่มส่วนที่เป็นแบ็กเอ็นก่อนนะครับก็คือผมเข้าใจว่าทางนี้อาจจะลองลอง explore ดูว่าแบบถ้าสเกลไปแล้วเหมือนกับ expect ว่าจะเจออะไรยังไงบ้างที่เราจะได้วางแผนจัดการไว้ก่อนครับ so I'm Alpha and I'm the brand strategist so basically what I'm doing is all about the brand and the strategy and the creative. So we're gonna mix together, balance it, and then we're gonna deliver. So that's what I'm doing every day, especially for this project as well. คือเหมือนที่เคยเคยบอกเนาะจริงๆคือตอนนี้คือแบรนด์ของดาคาซี่กำลังก็จะขยายอยู่ซึ่งจริงๆวิธีการที่เราขยายเราจะขยายผ่
โซอันนี้คือเราก็อยากอินทิเกรตเหมือนกันเพื่อให้เราสามารถเห็นหลังบ้านทันทีเลยทีนี้บาลานซ์ที่ที่เราจะดึงได้เพื่อเพื่อไปแสดงอยู่ในหน้าของอีคอมเมิร์ซสังของเนี่ยผมเข้าใจว่าผมจะอินทิเกรตจากตัว ERP หลังบ้านไปเลยซึ่งตอนนี้คือของเราก็จะมีทั้ง third party ที่เป็น warehouse ที่ดูแล warehouse ของเราแล้วก็เรามี POS หน้าบ้านแล้วก็เรามีระบบ ERP จริงๆคือมองว่าสมัยนี้คือเรื่องการวิ่ง food chain หลายๆแบรนด์ก็ใช้วิธีการนี้คือ outsource warehouse ไป so ตอนนี้คือของเราก็เหมือนกันคือเรา outsource warehouse so คือระบบอ่ะจริงๆคือเป็น third party เหมือนกันสิ่งที่เรา hope for คือ ERP ที่ cloud สามารถ integrate ทั้ง warehouse และทั้งหน้าบ้านเข้ามาจริงผมคิดว่าทุกแฟนชายเนี่ยจำเป็นที่จะต้องมีระบบนะครับเพื่อเอาไว้เป็นตัวกำหนดบริบทหรือว่าเป็นตัวกำหนดแอคชั่นให้มันตรงตามกับแฟนไชยหลักหรือว่าความต้องการของเจ้าของแฟนไชยนะครับแล้วก็ผมยกข้อดีของ3ประเด็นนะที่เรามีระบบก็คือ1เราสามารถที่จะมองเห็นภาพรวมของทั้งบริษัทนะฮะของระบบแล้วก็ข้อสองในเรื่องของการสเกลพอเราเริ่มสเกลปุ๊บเนี่ยมันจะเกิดข้อผิดพลาดขึ้นเช่นเรื่องการควบคุมคุณภาพเรื่องความเพี้ยนหรืออะไรอย่างเงี้ยนะฮะซึ่งเป็นภาพลักษณ์ที่ไม่ดีต่อองค์กรถ้ามีฟีดแบ็กกลับมานะครับแล้วก็ข้อ3เนี่ยเป็นเรื่องของการแก้ไขปัญหาคือเราสามารถได้ใช้ระบบเนี่ยในการแก้ไขปัญหาได้นะครับอย่างปัญหาของดากาซี่เนี่ยเราก็ใช้ระบบในการแก้ไขปัญหานั้นด้วยเหมือนกันโดยบทจัดการ p o s หรือว่า warehouse นี่เราคนใช้กับเจ้านั้นอยู่มากครับตอนนี้เราใช้2เจ้าอยู่ครับคือเราใช้ทั้งเจ้าที่ชื่อธรรมสูตรแล้วก็เจ้าที่ชื่อ VTEC แต่ละรุ่นก็มี pros and cons คือเราตอนนี้คือมองว่าเจ้าไหนคือก็จะสามารถ match ของเราได้มากที่สุดครับใช่อย่างตัว warehouse ก็เป็นอของเจ้าไหนนะครับคือ warehouse ตอนนี้เราใช้ mon logistics นะครับเจ้านี้เราพาร์ทเนอร์กันตั้งนานเนี่ยคืออย่างประมาณ8ปีแล้วนะครับแล้วตอนนี้มีใช้อย่างตัว warehouse เนี่ยปล่อย API มาให้ connect กับฝั่งเราปะของ warehouse เองคือเขามีระบบที่สามารถเปิด API ให้ให้ให้เชื่อมได้แต่ตอนนี้คือเรา ERP ยังไม่ได้เชื่อมครับอ๋อโอเคก็ไม่มีไม่มีปัญหาอะไรยังเป็นแยก2 system อยู่ data ที่เราทำตอนนี้อยู่ที่อยู่ที่ warehouse ครับ so process ของเราคือของเวลาเราสั่งเราสั่งผ่าน TR Cloud ขอโทษนะครับ ERP ซึ่ง ERP คือเราใช้ PO ระบบของ ERP ทั้งหมดเลยแต่หลังจาก step ต่างๆอย่างเงี้ยเราต้องดึงออกมาเป็น Excel แล้วก็ manually ส่งให้ warehouse ทราบว่าเดี๋ยวจะมีของเข้านะที่เหลือคือ warehouse เขาก็จะรับของ manually แล้วขีเขาระบบของเขาเขามี WMS ที่ manage um, location ของ stock ใช่ครับแล้วเวลารับของกลับมาที่ ERP เหมือนกันก็จะเป็น manual process นึงกลายเป็นว่าเราจะใช้เอกสารของเขาที่เขาเอาไปรับมาส่งกลับมาให้ back office เราแล้วก็คือของเราคีเขามีการรีคีย์กับทางรีคีย์ครับใช่ใชใชใชใชก็มีการรีคีย์สองรอบซึ่งแน่นอนคือตอนนี้คือเรื่อง human error เรื่อง efficiency เราก็มองว่ามีมี opportunity คือมาทำให้ดีขึ้นเยอะผมเข้าใจถูกเนาะก็คือตัว franchise ก็คือเวลาอยากสั่งของเขาโทรมาใช่ครับโทรมาไลน์อะไรไหมเนี่ยตอนนี้คือใช่อีเมลมาไลน์มาแล้วก็เราก็จะมีเจ้าหน้าที่ที่รับออเดอร์แล้วก็โทรกลับไปยืนยันว่าสั่งเท่านี้แต่คีย์หลักฟังก์ชันของเจ้าหน้าที่นี้คือไปเช็คว่าคลางเนี่ยบาลานซ์คือโอเคไหมกระจายได้พอไหมถ้าโอเคก็คอนเฟิร์มแล้วก็จะรีเช็คกับลูกค้าว่าโอเคต้องอนชำระนะก็ต้องติดตาม process ตรงนี้เสร็จแล้วก็ส่งสัญญาให้ warehouse ให้ warehouse ไปส่งของคือผมมองว่าช้าที่สุดอ่ะจริงๆคือคืออยู่ที่ไม่สะดวกลูกค้าคือบางทีคือมาจากที่ว่าลูกค้าอาจจะทำสเต็ปแรกแหละเขาสั่งของแล้วก็ก็ต้องเข้าใจว่าเวลาเราทําธุรกิจแฟรนไชส์อะหลายๆคนที่เป็น investor เขาจะมีผู้จัดการร้านที่ช่วยดูแลผู้จัดการเป็นคนที่สั่งสั่งเสร็จแล้วแล้วสุดท้ายคือได้ confirm payment ตรงนี้อาจจะภายในวันหนึ่งแต่หลังจากนั้นคือเขาจะต้อง confirm เจ้าของว่าเจ้าของฝากออนเงินหน่อย process นี้ช้าสุดคือบางที3าวัน so chain ก็จะ delay และ expectation คือจากลูกค้าของเราที่เป็นแฟรนไชส์สีก็ว่ากันก็มองว่าสมัยนี้คนจะ simple เขาให้ authority ให้ให้ผู้จัดการเขาแล้วก็ทุกอย่างคือสามารถ process ได้จบงั้นเบื้องต้นฝั่งผมจะมีเท่านี้ก่อนแล้วเดี๋ยวผมมีอะไรผมอาจจะแทรกขาอีกครั้งนึงผมอาจจะปล่อยให้ฝั่งของฝั่งฟอนเอ็นโอเค hello so I'm thinking about yeah I'm just uh, listening about the back end and there's those uh, tech things yeah of course uh, so here is How we diagnose in the discovery meeting for the front end because mostly our end is uh, my expertise is more about on the brand side. So basically, the ult
because the time is also the valuable asset. That's why like I totally agree for the back end sides, you need a system to facilitate the, those things. Mm -hmm. At the same time, for the front end, the uh, branding, the marketing, and that kind of things are a little bit more creative side and more emotional sides. So that's what I'm very passionate about. So in the, this discovery meeting, I'll ask a little bit more about the, that front end side. So a little bit more about the brand side that I would like to understand. Can you please help me to understand more, a little bit more about the Takasi story? Yeah. Sure. Um, Dakasi is a brand uh, that actually originated um, since 1990. 1990, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, the origin that. story was from like Taiwan. They expanded in um, in China mainly for before the 2000s. And uh, myself, uh, I had the opportunity to bring this brand over to Thailand, and I've been expanding it in Thailand for the last 13 years. So part of the why why is uh, the history. Um, I think we're one of the uh, only few brands in the market that has been around for like yeah um, two two or three generations of the bubble that yeah of the bubble tea um, heritage his yeah. heritage yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so um, it all started with a very 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 first shop uh, that was opened in Taiwan um, it's opened in Ximenting beside a movie theater oh, so nice. the very theme of the first location um, is kind of like a Hollywood movie theme and uh, the reason that we use the star is because um, the owner kind of got inspiration from from the location and um, the star represents superstars like movie superstars and his his belief is that in order for somebody to be a superstar it's not a one man it's not a one man operation like you have a team you have support i guess that's the 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 mascot very well represents the spirit yep. of how, how we run this brand, I think, yeah. So I think we are on the same page. I really, if I have a chance to build this brand for the communication and the campaigns, I will directly, I will instantly go with this direction, you know, the, that kind of things to differentiate because nobody in the industry, they claim about, you know, they talk about the product, they talk about the happiness, but not the way that in deep level of the, the shining moment. So that's what I really would like to create. So what, what about uh, if I come up with the, the full idea in the pitch to deliver that kind of uh, concept in the, the media perspective, in the campaign perspective, in the creative perspective. So I'll come up with this idea in the pitch with this. So yeah, how do you think about it? That'd be great. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to, to um, the, the pitch. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about the timeline that we're going to be for this project? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. How, how about you? What is your, is there any agency on vacation? Uh, definitely there is. Um, our, our time for expansion, um, customers don't wait. So we definitely are expanding yeah. already. So... Uh, customer cannot wait. Yeah, <laughs> customer cannot wait. So as, as, as quick as possible, we look for like uh, a solution to our back-end operations. So let's thank you guys. Okay. Yeah, thank looking you. forward to it. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Yeah. How about second? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes. Actually, when I hear after I discovered meeting, and then I found out that the the client has uh, a lot of issues and the problems on their side, but this is our job to make sure to summarize what's the real the root cause, because with my ex experience, I think that sometimes the there are like few couple of one two or three root cause that makes like the hundreds of uh, problems and the issues for example something like that the the brand is not standing out and the creative is not that good and the message is not craft uh, for the target market the marketing sucks the campaign is not that good so these are general problems but as for the brand strategies and the creative perspective we need to deep dive and find out what the real issue is. For this case, I think the real issue is that it's not about the social media page, it's not about the keyword, it's not just about the another commercial. I think the real issue is differentiation. The real challenge that I found is the differentiation. Because once I hear that it's a bubble tea industry, then I know that this is a huge demand. At the same time, it is very difficult to differentiate because everyone is telling about the product. So everyone has a product to sell, but we need a story to tell about what's the real thing behind that brand. So among these thousands of other brands, why Dakasi? So this is my first question that I asked to the client. Okay, what's up? Hey, what's up? 
Here, I got a present for you. Okay. Uh, super exciting project. It's about the bubble tea. So, here, you can check it out. So, it's about the bubble tea. Actually, we have just met in the discovery meeting. So, the bubble tea is... The brand name is the Takashi. Takashi, yeah. So, original from the Taiwan. So, mm -hmm. it's an interesting brand. We like to reposition the brand. So, I just don't want the brand to sell the bubble tea. Mm -hmm. I just want them to, you know, deliver the, the other things. Hi, my name is Piet. I'm the creative director of MCI. And I would be basically doing a lot of the creatives that are part of this campaign from start to end. So basically, they want to rebrand or reposition. Is it a rebranding project or repositioning project? Actually, it's both. Ah. Because the positioning, it's <coughs> quite, um, quite difficult for the bubble tea brand, especially for this brand. Because in Thailand, as we all know that the bubble tea is a key mainstream food. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. For so, even for young people. Yeah, it's, even it's for the young people. It's a go to drink. <laughs> do you guys drink bubble tea? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> like, I'm. Do you know this brand? Not really, though. Because like, in Asia, there's lots of lots of like bubble tea brands, and uh, even in Thailand, every corner have like different brands. So they have a difficulty of like positioning themselves, like being unique. So each bubble tea brand is like, you can, you don't even know like what kind of brand it is, what kind of logo it is. It's all like, Humongous. Before I'm telling you the details about what is going on, what's happening at that moment, or the full debrief of what's the challenges, I would like to ask you one question. So, how do you feel about it? Not just about the product. I'm sure you're not a bubble tea fan. So, how do you feel about it when you see the brand, when you, you know, see the packaging and everything? Well, first of all, as soon as I see the color mm -hmm. of the whole entire packaging, it looks the same as any other bubble tea mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. obviously, That's right? one of the biggest challenges because you, you can tell like every other bubble tea brand has these kind of com color combinations. Judging by the logo, judging by the elements here, you can already tell it screams happiness. It screams maybe joyfulness because of the illustration and how young it is, but that's all it, I can get from it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And for Mila, I want to cover two areas though, because um, the bubble tea, what I experience and what I expose is they do not come separately. And the reason I expected this one to come separately is because they don't want to stick onto each other. Yep. But in, in reality, it still sticks onto each other. So I want to know the purpose of it. And then I see the uh, since 1990 and they are not making use of the heritage brand because since 1990 is way too long already. Mm -hmm. But then like, tea. Yeah, mm. so I want to know what's the reason and why the reason they make it a bit smaller in communication on the packaging itself. Because I feel that it is the area that they should be proud of mm -hmm. for being in the market for this long. And then, yes, I totally agree with uh, Gupi as well. Like the, the overall packaging, the main front face, it's like happy, fun. But I think it has to be more dominant on the communication and what it stands for mm. rather than so before we go deep into the um, you know the technical things, the issues, the the, the issues that we have to overcome, uh, because like I, me, and Kendo actually we we face into the discovery call, and then in this discovery meeting we 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 deeply find out uh, the things that uh, will there will be the potential challenge from the client perspective as well as from the agency perspective as well. The scope of work. Uh, I like to write it down so that it will be it will be more clear. Okay. I'm not a big fan of uh, bubble tea, so I'm not that clear <laughs> for the. I yeah, think you need to start drinking some. <laughs> yeah, you can try sure. I, I have a conscious that, yeah. that this is very sweet and the thing, so I I'm supposed not to not to take it. That that, that that's my concern. Yeah. So Dakasi, it's now at that moment they are just one of the thousand one of the thousands. So there are like thousands of bubble tea brands. And of course, the demand is huge. As well as the supply is outside is also huge in the Thai market. So the key problems that we found out in here, it's actually the, the brand doesn't feel like, you know, total happiness. They have a, another challenge. 
of the bubble T, yep, the differentiation, Ren differentiation, and at the same time, the third challenge is the how do you overcome the health conscious? So this is just, you know, this is just a cup of bubble tea, but we like to add the happiness in it. So combine together. So that's that's a goal actually. That's a goal that I'm thinking about it. Feeling, emotion, you want to yep, yep. put the it feeling in there. and emotion, emotion and the experience that we like to add here. Yeah. Not just a bubble tea. Yeah. So yeah, how do you think about it? This is the project. So I'm not sure about the scope of work yet, but the thing is that the end result is, I'm pretty sure, that it has to be that. I feel like we need, again, the, my first question that comes from it, is it a rebranding pro process or a repositioning process? Yeah. Whatever it is, I think the repositioning process should come. I think from my side, well, the only one of the things I'm thinking right now is what if we actually positioning, start positioning in a more, uh, visual way first, so of course a key visual. Let's start out the campaign with a key visual. Let's start out with a campaign with a good header, good tagline, not tagline, but good marketing line. KV message. Message, yep. and yep. then like try to sell that, look, if you buy this and if you drink this, you get total happiness, you get total joyfulness. So if you can actually get that messaging into the visual, and then sell it in a more like uh, if we can do it on a billboard, if we can do it on a That's majority a, of signages. What John's gonna yeah, do. the media, right? Yeah, the media. So media we, we can go for that as well. From yeah. that perspective, also, uh, what I see is, of course, like I need to go through the uh, product portfolio as well, and what are they offering to the market, to the mm -hmm. young market? You know, are they doing any creatives? So that's one one category. Another category is uh, I also want to go on the, uh, what sort of uh, KOLs are they associating with? Mm. Because they cannot just use uh, KOLs for the star power. They have to represent and they have to uh, collaborate along with the DNA of the KOLs themselves as well. So that's how the big brands like Louis Vuitton and all those big brands do. Whenever they touch those uh, big KOLs and superstars, they go into their life and hacked on it and they share the same value. So you need to show the same value in even the current KOL or whichever the KOL that we are going to propose. There has to be a value asset that people can enjoy and they can also relate to it. Mm. So I will also look into the several KOLs that can deliver the purpose of this. Mm. Yeah, sure. So it's uh, the media things. So now I, I feel like that we need a creative, we need a message and we need a media to launch. So yeah, this will be our basic, the core scope of work that we need to deliver in this case. So why modern day version of Coke? Do you have a question? Why I like to go to the modern day version of Coke? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, Definitely. Because, because, because bubble tea and Coke is totally different things. How, but there are so many things, you know, that we can, we can assume that the Coke and the bubble tea, because, okay, I'll, I'll explain a little bit. Why modern day version of Coke? Because the Coke has had a similar problems when they do that, when they did in the previous like 20 years, 30 years ago, they have a similar problems. Like there are a lot of soda, water, and a lot of competitions. And at that moment, and then a lot of things that the health conscious and you know, the, the, that kind of things are happening for the younger generations. And at the same thing, now the bubble tea becomes the more popular in the, you know, the metro area and that kind of people. It's just more than a cup of tea. It is like a fashion, it is like the lifestyle they're drinking for the bubble tea. So we like to make this bubble tea brand to become the modern day version of the Coca-Cola. So yeah, that idea, with that strategy and that delivery verse, we're going to put it in the slides and then we're going to pitch. So that's what we have to do right now. I think beforehand, um, let's get back. I will create, I will show, print some mood boards out. Yep. I will print some things out that relates to this. And then after we finish that, and then we can like figure out what kind of direction we want to go. And yeah. then we can like uh, create the, the mock-up KV, okay. mock-up anything, and then we can come, go to the client back to client and we can pitch. Yeah, let's okay, do it. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. That's good. Cool. Great.